The Linux Show, starring Nick Carter, Master Detective. Presented by Acme, America's great producer of fine quality paints. This is the story of a man known the world over as one of the most daring and resourceful characters in the history of detective fiction. A man whose name has become a symbol of the triumph of right and justice over the sinister forces of crime and lawlessness. A man recognized as one of the great masters of deduction. Nick Carter, Master Detective. Today's exciting case, The Hanging Paper Hanger. Another exciting chapter dramatized from the life story of Nick Carter. In just a moment, we'll hear how Nick Carter investigated the strange case of a landlord who decorated an old lady's apartment against her will, and how a broken perfume bottle caught a murderer. August means dog days, and dog days mean heat. But you can have plenty of time for cool, leisurely relaxation when you do your homemaking the easy Linux way. Just follow the example of wise American homemakers everywhere who have learned the magic shortcut to household care, those three great Linux home brighteners. Linex Clear Gloss, the modern brush-on finish. Linex Cream Polish for fine furniture. And Linex Self-Polishing Wax, the amazing new quick-drying wax product. Start now to enjoy extra relaxation every day. Enjoy that added leisure in a home that's sparkling with bright new beauty. Just ask your hardware, paint, or department store for the three great Linex home brighteners. And save time the easy Linex way. <laughs> And now for today's exciting case from the life of Nick Carter. It's been a busy day in the old brownstone mansion at the corner of 5th and 4th, and Nick and Patsy are deep in consultation on a new method of blood classification when there's an urgent ring on the doorbell. Patsy answers it and ushers in a little gray lady, very nervous and very frightened. Look, Nick, we have a guest for lunch, Nick. This lady says she's an old friend of yours. Well, I, I don't know whether you'll recollect me, Mr. Carter. Now, you're a great and famous Remember man. Remember you? Why, of course I do. How are you, Mrs. Nelson? It's been ages oh, since we've there, seen you. now you do remember. It's been ten years since I cooked for him, ma'am. Now, this is my secretary, Patsy Bowen. Uh, how do you do? Mrs. Oh. Nelson's the greatest apple pie baker in the East. Oh, thank mm. you kindly, Mr. Carter. Well, what can I do for you, Mrs. Nelson? Oh, well, sir, I... Oh, it's a funny thing. Uh, I've got a job now over at the Maxwell Manufacturing Plant. I clean up nights. Uh -huh. So I live near as I can to the plant to save traveling time, you see. And, oh, it's a very nice little boarding house, and a very nice man runs it, Mr. Harrow. Now, I didn't have any complaints until now. Well, what happened, Mrs. Nelson? Well, you see, it's like this, uh, I like a bit of color in my room, so I pasted things on the wall. All kinds of bright ribbon, bright labels, and colored pictures. It makes a kind of patchwork quilt, you see. Oh, well, must be very pleasant. Oh, it was, Mr. Carter, until yesterday. Mr. Harrow, my landlord, is a paper hanger by profession. And yesterday I come home from work to find that he'd papered the whole room with new wallpaper. He, he just covered over everything and... You didn't know he was going to do it? Oh, no, sir. It'd come as an awful shock. I says to him, I says, Mr. Harrow, you take that paper off. I want my own decorations back. And he says, Mrs. Nelson, you got wallpaper free, gratis, and for nothing. And you just be grateful. He didn't paper any other room in the house? Oh, no, sir, no. About how big a room do you have? Oh, a middling-sized room, sir. So you're upset because you've lost your own decorations, and you want to know why a landlord should paper your wall without you even asking for oh, it. Oh, it's worse than that, sir. Oh? I know why he won't take that paper off. There's code on it, that's what. And he's a spy, that's what he is, Mr. Carter, and that's why I've come to you. Ah, I see. Well, Mrs. Nelson, we can't let an old friend down. We'll go right out with you and investigate this coated wallpaper. Oh, thank you, sir. And even if there are no spies involved, we'll see if we can't get your old decorations back. Nothing's too good for the champion apple pie baker of the East. <laughs> And for nothing wallpaper, huh? Oh, it's 
very nice, Mrs. Nelson. No, I'm not denying that, miss. All I'm saying is I don't want it here. Well, now, let's see that coat you spoke about. Oh, right on the border, sir. You see, there's a squiggly line with dots and dashes around it, and I thought ah, that... Ah, yes, yes, I see. Why, well, that's see. just a conventional design, Nick. It's repeated over and over. It couldn't be code. Yes, I'm afraid Patsy's right. Spy angle is out, Mrs. Nelson. Oh. And the other question isn't answered. Why did the landlord suddenly give you a new wallpaper for no apparent reason? Well, I don't know, sir. Maybe there was something valuable on the wall that he wanted. Perhaps. Exactly what did you use to decorate your walls with, Mrs. Nelson? Well, like I said, sir, old calendars and labels and ribbons. Any old shares of stock? Oh, now, what would I be doing with stock shares, miss? Here, here, I've got some stuff saved up that I was going to use. I'll show it to you. It's right in my closet. You can see for yourself. It wasn't anything... Oh, oh, Mr. Carter, sir. Oh, get him out of here. Get all him right, away now, from all right. here. Get him, Mrs. Nelson. Get oh, him. No. Tell me, who is it? Who is it? It's Mr. Harrow, my landlord. He's hiding himself in the closet hook. Yes, and he's unquestionably dead. <laughs> Nelson down the sitting room. She's feeling a little better. Golly, what a mess. Yes. She begged me not to send for the police. She's afraid if she gets mixed up in a police case, she'll never get another job. But you've got to call the police in on a suicide, don't you? We're not going to call in the police. And this wasn't suicide. Me? Look here, Patsy. Harrow apparently hung himself from this hook high up at the closet wall, right? Yes. How did he get there? Well, uh, he stood on that clothes hamper under his feet, tied the knot around his neck into the hook, and then hung himself. Then how do you account for the fact that the clothes hamper is 15 inches under his dangling feet? Oh. What did he do? Jump up? Pull himself up? Impossible. And it's murder. With a capital M. Oh, Nick, we better call in the police. And just about ruin everything for Mrs. Nelson? <laughs> what did an officer of Sergeant Matheson's caliber say when he found a man murdered in Mrs. Nelson's room after they'd had a fight about wallpaper? Oh, yes. Then he'd have no choice but to lock her up and... Hold her on suspicion of murder. Exactly. I said I'd do Mrs. Nelson a favor, and I will. I'll crack this case with a minimum of trouble for her. I don't like it, Nick, but well, what do we do? Well, look here, Patsy. You can't miss the connection. The murder's tied up with the wallpaper. Well, that's right. The only trouble is, what's the wallpaper tied up with? Something on the wall. Okay. Run your fingers along the wall. Mm-hmm. Feel the lumpy pattern of Mrs. Nelson's decorations under the paper. Mm-hmm. Mr. Harrow did not put up that paper to steal anything from underneath. And why did he? The obvious answer, to conceal something. Conceal what? But I'd like to find out. Come on down to Harrow's rooms. Mrs. Nelson said it was in the back of the house. Probably find his paper hanging equipment there. And then what? Then we're going to rip this paper off the wall. <laughs> guy was Harrow anyway. Six bottles of perfume. All brand new. And expensive. You don't buy any one of them for less than sixty dollars. Hmm. Over three hundred dollars worth of perfume in the room of a boarding house landlord. Yeah. This is beginning to get curiouser and curiouser as Alice and Wally. Stop <gasps> behind the bed. He shut out the light. Quiet, quiet. Do you hear that? Bottles. It was the killer, and he came after the perfume bottle. Come on. Where? Out the front door. Quick. Mm. Okay. All right, wise guy. All right. You want to... Ah. Well, well. Mr. Nick Carter and company. Sergeant Matheson. Hi, Matty. Just in time. Did you see a man come out before us? Quick. Just in Where time for it? what? The murder? Oh, you know about that. Know about it? What do you think I'm not doing out here? Listen, Matty, we got to work fast. The killer is... Never mind the fast talk, Nick. I want a couple of quiet words with you. You know why I came out here? I'm listening impatiently. I get a call ten minutes ago. A guy by the name of Harrow just bumped off. That's right. And the call said he was bumped off by none other than Nick Carter himself. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's absurd, Sergeant. You can't think that Nick... Now, will... listen, Patsy. I'm not saying I believe Nick killed anybody. But you better explain how he neglected to notify homicide as soon as he found the body. That's a criminal offense in this city. I'll explain in a few minutes, Matty. Come on in the sitting room. Oh, more tricks, huh? You pulled some fast ones on me in your time, Nick. Now, listen. This is gospel. 
a little old lady in there, a friend of mine, named Mrs. Nelson. Yeah? She'll explain how Patsy and I came into this case. Okay, okay. Mrs. Nelson, we're sorry to bother you, but... Dick. Well, the place is empty. Where's the old lady you're going to produce? Mrs. Nelson! Mrs. Nelson! Never mind Mrs. shouting, Patsy. I'm afraid Mrs. Nelson's gone. And from the look in Maddie's eyes, I'm afraid we're in a jam. <laughs> A murder committed because of wallpaper. A killer who steals perfume bottles. And a disappearing witness. How is Nick going to straighten this out with Sergeant Matheson barking over his shoulder? We'll see in just a moment. There's an old saying that if you want something done well, it's best to do it yourself. But nowadays, the truth is this. When you want your floors and linoleum to have perfect care, let Linux self-polishing wax do the job. You see, Linux self-polishing wax is completely new, developed by leading research chemists to give you the finest as you'll prove for yourself in one quick home test. Apply Linux self-polishing wax to any hardwood, linoleum, or rubber tile floor. It takes just a jiffy to wipe on and dries without tiresome rubbing to a handsome luster that lasts and lasts. First, you'll notice the satiny beauty that only real wax can give. Second, when you step on that floor, you'll learn why Linux self-polishing wax is called the anti-skid finish, for your floor is less slippery than it was to begin with. This fact has been proved by the underwriter's laboratories. And third, you'll be delighted with the way the finish lasts. For Linux self-polishing wax has the highest possible content of genuine Carnauba wax. There's no doubt about it. Linux self-polishing wax is well worth trying. Once you've tried it, you'll follow the example of all the wise American homemakers who use it regularly. Ask your dealer now for Linux self-polishing wax. For all three great Linux home brightness. The Modern Shortcuts to Household Care. And now, back to our story. Investigating the strange complaint of Mrs. Nelson that her landlord has papered the walls of her room against her wishes, Nick discovers the landlord murdered. In the dead man's bedroom, Nick finds six bottles of expensive perfume, which are stolen by the killer in a daring attack. Nick's pursuit of the killer is stopped by Sergeant Matheson, who arrives after an anonymous call told him of the murder and accused Nick. But when Nick tried to produce Mrs. Nelson to prove his story, she vanished. Now Nick, Patsy, and Matty meet in the front hall after searching the house. Ah, it's no use, Nick. We've been through the house from top to bottom. It's empty. Which means I'm accused of the murder and kidnapping, eh? Now, I won't say that. I know you're no crook. But I wouldn't put it past you to hijack a witness if you thought it would help you to solve the case. Not this time, Eddie. Well, where in places is she? Probably in the hands of the killer. Probably grabbed her after we ducked into Harrow's bedroom under our noses and grabbed the perfume. Hey, what's all this about perfume and wallpaper? What's the connection, Nick? You're the policeman, Matty. I'm just an ordinary citizen. Now, 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 don't take it that way, Nick. I never said you weren't useful. Now and then, I just all wanted... All right, Matty, just my little joke. Now, here's the setup. The murderer killed Harrow and tried to frame the death as a suicide in Mrs. Nelson's room. Right. Evidently, the killer wanted to silence Harrow. About what? About why Harrow papered Mrs. Nelson's walls. So there is something hidden on the wall. There is. Something tied up with the bottles of perfume stolen from Harrow's room. The killer probably ducked out the back way with the bottles in Mrs. Nelson. And we better get up to Mrs. Nelson's room and get that wallpaper down. Right. Get, yeah, hold it. Someone at the front door. Looks like a man. Stand by. Hiya, brother. Uh, hey, what are you... Mr. Spieler Wilson, isn't it? The best pitch man in the city. Sidewalk spiels and sales a specialty. What are you doing here, Spieler? Oh, gee, Sergeant, you give me a scare for a minute. I ain't doing nothing here I oughtn't. I live here. You live here? How interesting. Matty. Yeah? Suppose you have somebody get that wallpaper off Mrs. Nelson's walls. Right. Just put on so recently that you should get it off without disturbing what's underneath it. Okay, Nick. And Spieler, suppose we go up to your room. I want to talk to you about a murder. <laughs> Well, plant? Yeah. That doesn't make sense, Spieler. Mrs. Nelson said she moved in here to be near a job to save traveling time. I was sure it makes sense. I didn't say I didn't know her before she moved in. I got her the job and got her to live here. You know anything more about her? How she spent her time? Eh, not much. She cleaned up in the plant from 6 to midnight, come home around 1, didn't usually get up till 10. Used to hang around the house mostly. Hey, Nick. Come on in. 
I got most of the paper off. Coming, Hattie. One last question, Spieler. What did you have in that satchel you were carrying when you came in? Mind if I have a look? Uh, no, Mr. Carney, but well, it wouldn't interest you. It, it's just the stuff I've been pitching on the streets these days. Ah, wouldn't interest me, would it? Look here, Patsy. Golly, bottles and bottles of perfume. <laughs> I got most of the paper off, Nick. Oh, what a job that was. Uh, incidentally, uh, what did you get out of Spieler? A few interesting facts. Most interesting is the fact that he's pitching perfume these days. Well, for the lover... What, didn't the killer steal perfume from Harrah's room? Yes. Then what are we waiting for? Some real evidence. Not enough, Matty. Don't uh-huh. have a coincidence. Have one of your men tail, Wilson. For yes, what, Nick? Listen, I... Matty. You don't seem to understand. I want to break this case, and I want to do it before Mrs. Nelson's hurt. He's been taken by the killer. That means he isn't ready to kill her yet, but he may make up his mind soon. We've got to get her before that. Yeah, how? Well, let's look at these walls. It's obvious. There's some clue here that points to the killer. We've got to find it. Okay. Plenty of calendar scenes. Lots of colored paper. <laughs> Mrs. Nelson had a rather gaudy taste. Oh, call it bright. Hello. Here are labels. These look like... Hat box designs. Some over here look like drug labels. Drugs? Narcotics? Maybe. Only here's something that's a lot more interesting. Patsy. Mm-hmm. Remember the name of the perfume stolen from Harrow's room? Yes, it was Paris's Danger. And the name of the perfume Spieler is selling? Paris is Exotic. And here are labels all from the Paris firm. Exotic, Danger, Nuance, and so on. So, so what? what? Why did Mrs. Nelson get hold of them? Well, she she bought them, or she picked them up somewhere, or... She, she didn't could've... buy them. You can't buy exclusive firm labels. And she didn't pick this many up just somewhere. Where would you find 50 perfume labels all at once? Well, uh, maybe she got them off old perfume bottles. Best suggestion so far. Only one hits, Patsy. And the material Mrs. Nelson had in her closet for decorating her walls are ten more perfume labels, and they're all brand new. The mucilage on the backs is fresh and untouched. Well, for the love of Pete, Nick, what's it mean? It means Patsy and I are going down to the Paris company and find out where their labels are made. There's got to be a tie-in between them and murder. you wish to speak with me on a matter of business? Uh, yes, I am at your service. Very kind of you, Madame Paris. You are, Madame Paris. If we? Let me introduce myself. I'm Nick Carter. This is my secretary, Miss Patsy Bowen. Oh, it is a great pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Carter. I am... Uh, did you say Nick Carter? The Nick Carter? That's right. Careful, Madame Paris. Your accent's showing. Oh, never mind the phony accent. That's for the customers. What's on your mind, Mr. Carter? It's a case of murder. And I think you may be able to tell me something that'll help. Anything. Anything you say. Paris Incorporated is a pretty big outfit. One of the biggest cosmetic manufacturers in the world. Do you manufacture all your products yourself? We do. How about the containers? Oh, we make those too. Who does the packing and handling? We do. Print your own labels? Design and print them ourselves. But uh, I don't see what this has got to do with murder. A murder has been committed. And I think it centers around some of your products. Will you tell me where this particular perfume label is designed and printed? Let's see. Exotic. Oh, that's a funny thing, Mr. Carter. What's funny? We gave up that line more than a year ago. I'd say we haven't manufactured any of these labels in over a year. Very interesting. Would there be any stock on hand? Any place in the city where they could be obtained? Oh, Mr. Carter, exclusive labels are like money. You keep them in a safe. There aren't any of these in stock. And if there were, they wouldn't be where anyone could get hold of them. For Pete's sake, Nick, will you explain what Quiet, Patsy. All right, thanks a lot, Madam Paris. We won't trouble you anymore. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, bonsoir, Monsieur Carter, uh, Mademoiselle Bourne. It has been a pleasure. Let me know if you apprehend this murderer. I will name a perfume after the case. Killer by Paris. <laughs> The 
This is awful. Looks like we aren't going to get anywhere with this case. You're wrong, Patsy. Hmm? Get into the car. You mean you found something? Even though Madame Paris said... Madame Paris said plenty. Get in. Oh, Dave! For the love of Pete, again. That car that just drove off. I know. Get in quick. Mm-hmm. Keep your eye on him. Is the killer after us? Yes. Can you still see the car? Yes, it's up ahead. Turning into that side street. What's the license number? Get it down. Oh, I can't see it. He spattered it with mud. Hold on. We're making the turn after him. Okay. See him? I think so. He's turning again up ahead. We'll get him. Nick? Oh, correction. He oh. got us. Looks like we've blown a front tire. Oh. Seems like we ran through a mess of broken glass. A little too coincidental to be real. Come on, Patsy. Right. Let's have a look at that glass. Seems to me Mr. Killer's a very smart person. A mess of broken glass thrown out behind his car would be just the thing to slow up any pursuers. And here we are. Nick, that's... They're perfume bottles. They must be the ones stolen from Harold's room. Thrown overboard to save the killer's skin. I'm afraid it didn't work this time. You want to know why, Betsy? Why? Because this is a side street, and all I can smell is uncollected garbage. Why, Nick, I... Are you crazy? Don't get it yet, huh? All right, wait till I call Maddie and get a police car. And we'll call on the killer and let him explain himself. <laughs> What in blazes is this place? We're coming in the back door of a war plant. This is the department that prints labels and things. What you hear, the press is working. Nick, do you mean Madame Paris was lying when she said that... Quiet, Betsy, quiet. We're going into this office here. I want you all to follow my lead, right? Yeah, but Nick, I... Ah, here we go. Yes, what is it? Mr. Maxwell? Yes, who are you? I believe you've seen me before. I'm Nick Carter. What do you want, Mr. Carter? A confession. Confession? Of what? Of the murder of Mr. Harrell, the kidnapping of Mrs. Nelson, and of the smartest racket ever worked in this city. Counterfeiting valuable labels. You're out of your mind, Carter. Out of my mind, am I? Patsy, bring in Mrs. Nelson. Let's see what Mr. Maxwell says when she confronts him. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you've got Mrs. Nelson outside, huh? You fool, you think that bluff will work on me? You haven't got... We haven't caught Mr. Maxwell. Go ahead. Nothing. You're going to say we haven't got Mrs. Nelson, huh? Well, only one person could know that, Mr. Maxwell, and that's the killer. The only way you could know whether or not Mrs. Nelson has been rescued is because you yourself are the killer. In just a moment, Nick will be back to give you the final details of today's story and explain how he knew Maxwell murdered the hanging paper hanger. Fine furniture is a proud possession for any family. But furniture doesn't keep its good looks without help. Keep your household things beautiful with Linex Cream Polish, the modern shortcut to furniture care. Linex Cream Polish renews the original appearance of your furniture in one easy process. For it actually cleans as it polishes, removing dust, polish accumulation, and finger marks in one quick application. Yes, Linex Cream Polish cuts your job in two saves one whole step in your cleaning day routine. It even acts as insurance against future work, for Linex Cream Polish dries hard, leaving no oily film to attract more dust. So begin now. Get Linex Cream Polish, which cleans as it polishes. It's the up-to-date way to care for your fine furniture. You'll find all three great Linex home brighteners, Linex Cream Polish, Linex Self-Polishing Wax, and Linex Clear Gloss, the longer-lasting brush-on finish, at hardware, paint, and department stores everywhere. And remember that your dealer is headquarters also for Chemtone, the miracle wall finish that lightens and brightens your home at an average cost of just $2.98 a room. Chemtone covers in one coat, dries in one hour. And now let's hear from Nick Carter himself. You know, Nick, I was surprised when we found Mrs. Nelson hidden away in Maxwell's plant as we did. Well, as I deduced earlier, Patsy, Maxwell wasn't ready to kill her until he found out exactly how much she'd told us about his racket. He suspected her because she brought me into the case. But she really knew nothing. Well, that's the point, Patsy. On the side, Maxwell counterfeited rare and expensive labels. 
Mrs. Nelson used to pick some up while she was cleaning around the plant. And she brought them home to decorate her walls. But she never realized anything shady was going on. No, of course not. Now, Spieler Wilson bought his phony labels from Maxwell for the phony perfume he sold. Uh -huh. And when he saw some of those labels on Mrs. Nelson's walls, he warned Maxwell that someone else might see them and get wise to their racket. Oh. So to cover up quietly, Maxwell had Harrow paper over the walls. Unfortunately, Harrow probably got wise when he found the fresh labels on Mrs. Nelson's closet, the one she was saving to put on the walls. He mm -hmm. took some down with him and prepared phony bottles of perfume, pasted the labels on, and had plenty of evidence to blackmail Maxwell. So Maxwell killed him, and then came back for the bottles, and we were there. Right. All of Maxwell's efforts centered around covering up a million-dollar racket. He killed Harrow for this. He trailed me, and when it seemed I was planning out his secret at Madame Paris, tried to kill me. Nick, that brings us to your crack about smelling garbage, after he stopped us by throwing those perfume bottles in front of our car. Well, that was obvious, Patsy. If there'd been real perfume in those bottles, we'd have smelled nothing but perfume. As we didn't... It showed the bottles contained doped-up water, proving definitely that bottles, perfume, and labels were all phony. Oh. Well, Nick, what story have you got for next week? Well, that's the next week. We have a very strange case. I received a letter from a housemaid in a wealthy home on Park Avenue. Oh, yeah.